keeping silent sometimes just helps that person become a victim and stay a victim even longer than they need to be. Tonight, planes are full of holiday travelers looking forward to reuniting with family members, but they aren't the only ones on board. Sex traffickers and their victims are also traveling. And experts tell Valley News teams, Veronica Marshall, they need your help to put an end to it. With the chaos of the holidays upon us, a lot of travelers are only focused on catching their flights. And they may not see the sex trafficking victims that are waiting in line behind them or seated next to them, but that doesn't mean they aren't there. People are pretty busy when they're traveling and they're pretty preoccupied just with the traveler going to see family and friends and those things. And so they're not necessarily thinking to look for it. And I also think uh, there's this feeling of it doesn't happen in North Dakota. Sex trafficking does happen here. According to data from local nonprofits, more than 100 sex trafficking victims have come forward in the FM area for help over the last two years. We see a lot of human trafficking in North Dakota, and so we've actually just increased staff size because those that are needing services or needing support when they are trying to get out of the life or out of human trafficking, we're just seeing that we don't have enough support and help here. Experts aren't the only ones who can help victims of sex trafficking. Airports are major hubs for traffickers and their victims. So law enforcement says you should stay vigilant when flying, and if you see something, say something. If it looks like someone, you know, might not be dressed for the conditions of where they're going or where they're at, or they seem to be with somebody and they're controlled, so they're not able to move around freely, or if someone asks them a question and they look to that person all the time and they never answer for themselves, those are, those are some warning signs. If something feels wrong or seems wrong or there's a red flag, it's just let somebody know about it. So if you see a police officer at the airport to talk to them about it. You see a TSA, talk to them about it. Advocates say if the community works together, victims can get the help they need when they need it, and they can stop others from becoming victims in the first place. Anybody can become a human trafficking victim, and that's what really scares people. It comes down to their ability to reach you um, based on your weaknesses or your vulnerabilities, and then that's how they recruit you into the life. And so uh, nobody is above being tricked or coerced into that. In Fargo, Veronica Marshall, Valley News Live. There's also a push to stop, or rather to spot, sex trafficking victims at hotels and motels. Earlier this year, Minnesota's Lodging Association partnered with the Department of Health to train hotel employees on how to recognize sex trafficking, which the state says is a growing concern in Minnesota, too.